What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a film that was just recently released on Hulu and it's a really interesting movie because it was not originally supposed to be a movie. So if not, if you're not familiar, there was a streaming service that existed for a while called Quibi. It did not do very well. A lot of the programming on Quibi got canceled relatively quickly and the streaming service was kind of there and gone in a flash. And this was a mini series for Quibi where the episodes were supposed to be 10 minutes long and the director decided once everything happened with Quibi to put everything together and release it as a feature film and so it is now available on Hulu and I wanted to watch it because I am a huge fan of Micah Monroe. I think she's an incredibly underrated actress who gives an incredible performance in virtually everything that I've ever seen her in. And I enjoy Dane DeHaan's performances. I think some of his films aren't as great as some of his other ones, but he's always really committed and he's entertaining to watch. And so the movie I'm gonna be discussing with you today is The Stranger. The Stranger is directed by Vina Sood. An unassuming young rideshare driver is thrown into her worst nightmare when a mysterious Hollywood Hills passenger enters her car. Her terrifying heart-stopping ride with the stranger unfolds over 12 hours as she navigates the seedy underbelly of Los Angeles in a chilling game of cat and mouse. So I did not know much about this before I watched it other than Micah Monroe and Dane DeHaan were in it and that it was a mini television series that this director turned into a full-length film. And it's entertaining, but incredibly flawed. I think the second half is much less interesting than the first half. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it today. So at the beginning of the film, we're introduced to Claire, played by Micah Monroe, who is in her car. And she works for one of these rideshare companies. And she's driving to pick up one of her passengers. And we learn early in the film that she is from Kansas. And she wants to be a screenwriter. So she moved from Kansas to Los Angeles to try to make it there. And she doesn't know anyone in L.A. The only thing she has in her life is her dog. And so she pulls up to this really luxurious mansion and her passenger Carl is played by Dane DeHaan and he texts her and says hey sorry I'm running a little bit behind and he comes out and the two of them start driving and he starts making small talk and the two of them are laughing and having a really good time and he starts talking about storytelling and then he essentially tells her that the house that they just pulled away from that he went inside and murdered an entire family and she just completely freezes up and he pulls a knife on her in the car and says, listen, if you tell me a really good story, I will let you survive and I'll let you get out of this car. Otherwise, I'm going to just kill you. And she manages to run the car off the side of the road, get him out of the car and get away. And the entirety of the film is this Carl character is chasing her down. He has surveillance access to her, is able to contact her. And for some reason, he is out to get her. And so the entire night, Claire is moving throughout LA, trying to figure out who this person is and what they want with her. So as I said, I thought this movie was entertaining, but it's incredibly flawed. I will start with the positives. Micah Monroe's performance here is excellent. As I said, I think Micah Monroe is an incredibly talented actress who does not get enough love for the amazing performances that she delivers. I loved her in It Follows. She's great in Watcher. There's a really underrated horror movie called The Guest that she's fantastic in. And anytime I see her in a movie, I'm always really impressed with how committed she is. And her character goes through a lot emotionally in this film, and I think she's really believable. I really liked her character. The physicality of this performance too like most of the movie she's running through the streets of LA without shoes on and like she's really beat up and she's got cuts all over her. and you can really just feel that wear that the night has taken on her and I'm re I was really impressed with her performance Dane DeHaan does a really good job especially early on in the movie playing this sociopath uh, he has those charismatic moments, but he's also a lunatic and really obnoxious in others. I would say the biggest issue with some of his performance for me is some of the dialogue gets really bad towards the midway point in the movie to where his character becomes a little corny. And so his performance kind of falters for me there, but it's nothing too terrible. I would say visually, the film is pretty nice. There's some really great shots in this movie, and I think there's a lot of attention to detail, especially early on in 
building tension, there was a really great moment where after her whole initial encounter with Carl in the car, she goes back to her apartment. In the way that the apartment is shot, you feel like as a viewer you're looking over that you'd be looking over your shoulder or like the way they shoot empty rooms to where you're like is he in there is he right around the corner and i think the blocking of the scenes and the way that they're shot does a really fantastic job of building up that tension and really creating this atmosphere that is incredibly unsettling and i think that's what you need in one of these cat and mouse type of movies is to constantly make the lead character look over their shoulder and worry that their lives in danger and I think that that was really well done and then that's where a lot of the problems take shape I think this being 10 minute episodes turned into a movie you can kind of see where it was stronger and where it started to falter there's this whole area where she goes and, and meets this guy at a gas station and the two of them start traveling together and I think the actor who plays the gas station attendant does a really great job I think he's really funny in moments and he's he's really solid as the character but they try to add this whole segment into the movie playing into like police brutality and racism from the police and it and I'm all for making statements about that in movies I think it's incredibly important to discuss that topic but it feels so thrown in and out of place where it's like why did you choose this moment to try to linger on this idea when it doesn't feel like it aligns to anything else that has happened in the movie earlier and it's it's really weird too because prior to that scene these cops come into the gas station with a gas station attendant and they're super like chippy and buddy buddy together and it, it's just really strange if you were going to portray the entire film as something like that I feel like there'd be something introduced earlier on in the movie to kind of get you to that point and especially where it goes in the third act there's just no real consistency with why that was placed in the film the movie decides to take an angle about technology and surveillance and being like terminally online but it never talks about that enough for it to really resonate all that hard and a lot of the dialogue surrounding it is very corny and very stupid and there was some dialogue that was so cringeworthy that I was just like oh god can we please move on to the next sequence Dane DeHaan's character throughout the movie reveals little bits of information as to who he is and why he's doing what he does and I really wish his character would have had his intro and then mostly just been a quiet looming menacing presence through the remainder of the film instead of the amount of phone calls they make him have I feel like that kind of took away from the suspense and the tension a little bit and the third act is very cliche I feel like you've seen this before you won't be surprised when it goes the direction that it goes some of the decisions that they make I didn't really like all that much and by the end of it I wasn't like bummed that I watched it I feel like there was enough entertaining moments that I was like oh that was a fun experience but there was so much about it that could have been shifted and changed to make an incredibly impactful and effective film instead of something that I was like well I could have wasted an hour and a half in a lot worse ways so have you seen The Stranger did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought I thought this movie was entertaining but incredibly flawed and it you've definitely seen this movie before as always if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for i'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future and as always everyone thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day